Ontario will pull the emergency brake for the entire province. Ontario Premier Doug Ford says this was his only option. A 28-day province-wide shutdown, an attempt to deal with rapid spread of variants of concern and record high ICU admissions. We need to do this. I, I know there's a lot of people that just want to go out there and open up and no, they, they don't believe this variant can be passed. I'm, I'm sorry. The decision comes after medical experts have warned for weeks stronger measures were needed. In just two days between March 26th and 28th, case rates increased by 7.7 percent to 101 cases per 100,000 people. I've signed 27 death certificates for patients who died of COVID-19. Critical care physician Dr. Michael Warner, along with 152 other ICU physicians, sent this letter to the province warning, we cannot rely on the public health measures framework. It did not contain the less infectious, less deadly original variant in Wave 2, and it will not be enough to protect us from VOCs in Wave 3. There needs to be an acknowledgement that the plans that were laid for Wave 2 was dealing with a different pandemic. Wave 3 is a new disease. As part of the new restrictions, indoor and outdoor dining are prohibited. Gyms, nail salons, barber shops, and bars will be shut down. Non-essential retail is limited to 25% capacity. Most sports are prohibited, and outdoor gatherings are now capped at five people. The government has provided money to restaurants, but personal services have been thrown aside completely. We've just been left hanging with nothing, and here we go again with nothing. For business owners right across the province, this feels like Groundhog Day. Schools in Ontario will remain open. Part of learning is actually being socializing and being with their, with their friends. When pushed for why more wasn't done sooner, Ontario's chief medical officer was defensive. So I have to first say I don't agree it's a failure. In grey zones where it's already a lockdown type situation like here in Toronto, there won't be much in terms of substantial changes other than patios shutting down. Experts agree the focus needs to shift now to speeding up vaccinations and also curbing spread in racialized communities and essential workplaces, something the province has struggled to do so far.